Hello and welcome to my channel. Today I'm going to share how I deal with pileups. Welcome back and thanks for being here. My name is Scott and no pileups. I'm not referring to freeway pileups or interstate pileups. This is a pileup as it applies to amateur radio or ham radio. A pileup defined would be when many stations try to contact one station all at the same time. And that could be in the form of a rare country that doesn't get on the air very frequently, maybe a rare state, particularly during contests. So Alaska and Hawaii, that's kind of rare for those of us on the East Coast, especially for me as a mobile, I don't hear them very often. And so if I hear Alaska or Hawaii, I'm gonna to try to call them. Many other people are gonna to try to call them all at the same time. So uh, Alaska and Hawaii are going to experience pileups. Perhaps a remote island. Sometimes there are islands out there that do not have infrastructure or population and therefore no amateur radio stations and so people will arrange what's known as a de-expedition where they will take a crew generators radios antennas and they will set up on that island and maybe hang out for a few days and do a de-expedition and so that crew is going to process a lot of pileups people all over the world trying to get into that island so they can say that they made contact with that rare island this video is for those of you who might be considering your first Parks on the Air activation, or maybe you are looking to do a de-expedition or activate a rare county, rare grid, something like that, and you are looking to see how to process your first pileup. It's, it's a little overwhelming and can be intimidating, but hopefully this video will help you sort that out and make it a little bit easier Let's see how we go. I am going to have a, a sample of pileups. This will be an exercise for you and me. I'm gonna go through them here in this video. If you want to jump straight to the exercise, look at the chapter below. I'm going to call the chapter, I don't know, something to the effect of pileup exercise. If so, so if you wanna skip through all of this and go straight to that, go straight to that, you'll have the exercise. The, the first, piece of advice that I will give to you is to control the pace. This is your pileup, your activation, therefore you control how fast people call you. So if you want to process everything quickly, for example they say it in CW circles, if you send code at 30 words a minute, people are going to answer you at 30 words a minute. And so it doesn't make sense to send 30, your call at 30 words a minute when you can only copy conversation at 10 words a minute. So talk at the pace that you wish to be spoken to. It lets others out there know what to expect when they finally do get through. So control the pace, that helps a lot. Let's say that you're having too many people call you and you can't understand what's being said because so many people are calling you. Well, maybe try turning your power down. I operate at 100 watts and if I got 20 people trying to call all at the same time, maybe I can turn it down to 50. And if I still have too many people, I'll just make up a number and say, I've got 10 and I can't work with 10. Then I'll turn it down to 25. Oh, now I've only got five people. And then as I work, the people maybe turn up the power so that I start inviting more people to talk to me. Because if they can't hear me, they're not usually going to call. So that's a consideration. I don't really do that. I just deal with the pileup. But it's a technique that you can use to slow your pace a little bit. Something else that I try to do is uh, give a leg up to the, the smaller stations, potentially weaker stations. So that might be QRP stations. If I hear a QRP station, I, I will very often say, okay, QRP station only. Let's see, mobile stations. I'm outputting 100 watts at the transmitter, but I'm using a mobile antenna. Now I don't have my Scorpion mounted, but I do have my ATAS mounted right up here. And HF antennas in mobile environments, they are a compromise. So realistically, my 100 watts into that ATAS might be about as effective as a 20 watt signal out of a wire in a tree. So if I hear another mobile station, I'm, I'm gonna try to pick them out and work them because uh, working mobile is 
maybe just a little bit better than working uh, QRP. When I say better, I mean a little bit stronger of a signal than working QRP. Um, park the Park, I will also pick them out as well because they are probably working on relatively low power with just a, a modest wire in a tree. And so I, I do process the Park to Park first. That brings me to running a list. I'm still not 100% sure of that definition. Comment below if you know the answer to this, because when I first started doing parks on the air, contesting or anything like that, I was working with a paper log. And so when I say QRZ, I might copy a bunch of partials, maybe a couple of complete call signs, and then I would try to work all of those stations. So I might have six or eight call signs down or partials, and then I will try to work them. So when I first was exposed to the term running a list, I thought that's what that meant. But I think what it might also mean or mean instead is I hear a bunch of different people calling, but I can't quite make out any single call. So then I will say, okay, one stations, one stations only, please. Okay, now let me hear the two stations. Okay, call sign area three, please, three, please. And I'm working my way down the list. I don't necessarily advocate that approach because if I got a nice strong signal coming out of an eight call area and now the, all the eights have to wait for me to get all the way down to them. <laughs> and so, no, I don't want to do that. Um, so I, what I like to do is work the strongest stations that I can hear first. Uh, oftentimes I'll work them in the order that I hear them, even if that means partials. And I do not leave too much time after a QRZ maybe five seconds 10 is a really long time in radio terms and so five seconds is usually enough for me to hear six or eight call signs and maybe write down some partials and then run with that so uh yeah keep that in mind i don't run a list in that definition but i will run a list of partial call signs that i have received i'm going to give you a quick example Let's say, for example, that I get uh, a few callers that I'm able to work out. Let's say that I get called by WA3RWP. These are all people that I know. Uh, let's see, uh, K4RVR, she starts her call just a, a, a second later. WD4DAN, maybe he waits two seconds and then he drops his call. KO4JPR, he jumps in right away. And so imagine that this is the lineup of how things are coming in. So I might hear whiskey and a kilo at the same time and write down those partials. The middle here is kind of a blur, but maybe I catch that three. And in here in the middle is a jumbled mess, but maybe I hear a Romeo or maybe I hear Delta Alpha November. But these would be the partials that I started to write down. And so then I might go back with station beginning with whiskey, please. Station beginning with kilo. Then I would hear from two. Gosh, I'd hear from two if I said beginning with whiskey. <laughs> station ending with November. So that gets me right to Dan. Station ending with Romeo. Well, that gets me right to these two. But that's, that's what I'm doing is I'm trying to sort out who I heard in there when I copy down the partials. Because if I don't get any complete call signs, then I have to work with partials. And again, I try to work them in the order that I receive them because I've heard plenty of people tell me, comments in my videos, oh, you should just work the list and run down the ones, the twos, the threes, the four, whatever. Well, if I don't hear a one or a two, or if I don't hear a November, I gotta work with what I hear. So you have to work with what you can hear. And so that's how I do this. The pros and cons of running a list. Uh, there's some impatient operators out there and really some, some time conscious operators. Because if I run a list, let's say that I think we've all heard this and I, I've done it, but I don't think I will do it anymore. Where you get these pileups and then maybe you just say, Ooh, that's a lot of people. Let me try to spread them out a little bit. So then I will say, okay, spread them out, spread them out. I will work you all, spread them out. And then operators are usually very they're very courteous. They will spread them out. And maybe you listen for 15 or 20 seconds and whew, you write down 10 or 15 good calls or good partials. And now once I start addressing them, the people on the other end have to wait for me to work my way through 10, 15, or even more call signs before they finally realize, oh man, he didn't even hear me. So 
I, I think or maybe I wonder if if I work three or four instead or maybe even just one at a time then everybody knows but then they, the other end of that is I keep giving my call sign every every 15 seconds and I'm not being picked up oh screw it I'm moving on and then you just leave that, that frequency and go move someplace else there's pros and cons uh, there's one side of me that says hey be more patient or hey that's not my problem it's just something to think about though so I I would say to work with just three or four at a time maybe that way you're giving your QRZ a little bit more frequently people know who you hear and yeah that's just my thought on that what I'm going to do in the exercise is play the real pile up in the exercise I used a computer so I was only copying one call at a time so I'm going to share the pile up I'm going to log I'm going to run a list here real time to show you what I'm hearing and what I might do if I was running a list then I'm gonna pause the video then I'm gonna share who I heard I'm gonna ask you who did you get and then I'll share who I worked so grab a pen and paper and log with me it'll be good practice I, I have 24 QSOs calls that I'm gonna have you listen to and you can listen to them at your pace I suppose Let's see what we think of all of this. There we go. All right, so what did you hear there? So I had copied a November 4 and a Sierra Hotel mic. The rest of it was just a jumbled up pile. So let's see what I actually got in the log. November 4, station, please. It's November 4, Romeo Hotel, Mike. All right, so I got the November 4. The Sierra Hotel mic was wrong, but I did hear November 4 and then the Hotel mic. So uh, by saying November 4, please. Now notice everybody stay quiet to let him speak, and that was cool. All right, let's move on. Let's see what's next. QRZ. Kilo Echo 8. Kilo Foxtrot 2, Hotel Papa. All right, so on that one, I got uh, Kilo Echo 8, Kilo Foxtrot 2, and I heard an Italy Yankee. Now, if I was going to run the list and call them back, I would say Kilo Echo 8 station, please. And then next, I'd work to Kilo Foxtrot 2, and then next, I would say station ending with Yankee. But because I was maintaining a computer log, I think I started to type Kilo Echo 8 first, and then it doesn't matter what I heard after that, that's the station I wanted to work. So let's see, I think I worked them. Kilo Echo 8 station. Kilo Echo 8, uniform Kilo X-ray. All right, so that's what I did. I ran the Kilo Echo 8 station. Who's next? This is Kilo Echo 4, Whiskey Mike Foxtrot, QRZ. Kilo Foxtrot 2, Hotel Papa. Kilo Mike. 2, Hotel Papa. All right, so I heard Kilo Foxtrot 2, Hotel Papa. And here it is up here, too. So this is, uh, I believe, the same guy. Let's see who I worked. Kilo Foxtrot 2 Hotel Papa, you are 59 into a Kilo 0016. All right, let's see who's next. This is Kilo Echo 4 Whiskey Mike Foxtrot QRZ. Kilo Echo 4 All right, so I heard Whiskey Delta 4. Now, I didn't hear that that night, and I'll address that in a second. And then I heard Alpha Alpha 8. But my point of bringing up Whiskey Delta 4 here, back when I recorded this video, I hadn't talked to Dan on the radio before, so I did not know the sound of his voice. But now that I'm here listening to it weeks later, I want to say it's been six or eight weeks, and I have talked to him on the radio, and I do know his voice I'm able to pick it out here. And so today, if I had heard that pileup, I would have pulled him right out. Let's see who I worked instead. All right, I heard an Alpha Alpha. Alpha Alpha 8, Juliet Lima. Juliet Lima. All right, let's see who's next. All right, thanks for the call. Appreciate it. Uh, QRZ. All right, so I did hear Dan in there again. Uh, I, not enough for me to hear his full call sign. In fact, I, I wrote down a four here just because I knew it was him, but I really only heard Whiskey Delta. 
and nothing else. But I know it's him. So I, I'd call him back because now I recognize his voice. And then I heard a November something Kilo Uniform Hotel. Let's see who I worked. Uh, was there a Whiskey Delta station? Thank you, Scott. Whiskey Delta for Delta Alpha November. All right, so I did decide to work Dan. So there's Dan out of the way. Let's move on. All right, thanks a lot. This is KE4WMF Mobile QSL. November 8, Kilo Uniform Hotel. All right, so this time I did get a full call, uh, N8KUH. There's my partial up there. And then I heard a station ending with Delta. What about you? What did you copy? Let's see who I worked. Kilo 8, Kilo, excuse me, November 8, Kilo Uniform Hotel, you are 59 into Park Kilo 0016. All right, so there's him. Here we go. All right, thanks a lot. This is KE4WMF QSL or QRZ. All right, I, I heard um, a couple of Echo stations ending with Echo. I, I should have heard more in there, but I, I didn't. I'm just distracted. But I'm going to have you listen for this station. The, one of the Echo stations, There's I heard two. One of them, he's got a very distinctive way of saying his call sign, and it ends with Echo. He, uh, listen for him in the future, because you're going to hear him I think a few times, and unfortunately I didn't work him because I was typing in one call sign at a time, so he was waiting to go later, but because I had already written down somebody else's call sign in the log, in the computer, I never got to work him because after three or four times he gave up and he moved on. I wish I had worked him. I'm going to see if I can pick out his full call sign in here and share it with you, but that's something else about the playback if you say your call sign in a manner on the playback that is consistent and distinctive echo he that's how it always and there's another guy out there i don't remember his call sign but it ends with uh, his, his last letter is is an alpha so he always drops his call and then he ends with america and i haven't heard it in a long time but uh, america it was very very distinctive and so i could always pull him out and that is uh, that is good as well i don't have anything so distinctive maybe i might throw sometimes at the end i'll throw in the mobile i'll, I'll say mobile and that way the mobile sounds a little bit distinctive but I, I don't always do that all right let's move on let's see who i worked did i hear a uh, kilo india five kilo india five november bravo november no bad news i've got you five six five six central new mexico all right oddly enough i didn't even hear him uh here today what about you did you hear him Let's see who's next. This is KE4 WMF Mobile QRZ. All right, I heard more than one station begin with the Kilo. I think I got, and then I thought I heard the Kilo Charlie 6, but nothing else. But then I heard the same voice say Juliet Quebec Uniform. Let's see if I got him. Was there a Kilo Charlie 6? Quebec Uniform QSL. All right, there we go. Let's see who's next. This is KE4 WMF uh, Mobile QRZ. Kilo 1, Echo 9, Bravo Victor. Zulu Uniform Alpha. All right, I got to Kilo Echo 9, and then I think a Bravo, and then I heard the Delta Echo. Very distinctive, very distinctive, just not in time for my logs. And I would right now at this point i would call him just because especially if i was calling from a list that i'm generating here and then i think i heard a uniform alpha so we'll uh, we'll see who i picked up uh, kilo echo nine bravo victor QSO, kilowatt echo nine bravo victor five nine kansas kilo sierra all right thanks a lot uh, this is kilo echo four whiskey mike foxtrot qrz All right, I think I got Kilo Golf. I heard the Delta Echo. <laughs> got to call him, but I never did. I didn't make any contact with him. So uh, that is the pitfall of working only in the computer and not running any sort of list is I can't pick out the partials. And so I, I don't know, maybe I'll build a wider desk that is like this instead. So maybe it would be 20 inches wide instead of 15. Then I would have room for the notepad and the keyboard. I don't know, what do you think? Let's see who I worked. All right, I've got the, uh, this time I heard a Kilo Golf 2. I think you're the one I was trying to pick out before. Kilo Golf 2? No, Roger, Kilo Golf 2. 
Golf 2, Mike Mike, your 5-9 Florida. All right, so I did get that partial. All right, thanks for calling uh, QRZ. Hey. All right, in this case, I was focusing so hard trying to hear the Delta Echo that I did not hear anything except for somebody ending with Mike, I think. Station ending with Kilo. Kilo Delta 9, Hotel Romeo Kilo. All right, so I didn't hear that at all in the first time around. All right, thanks a lot. This is KE4 WMF Mobile QRZ. All right, this time I got that guy's call. It's either Whiskey 8 Juliet Delta Echo or Whiskey 8 Juliet Alpha Echo. Let me play it again for you real quick. Whiskey 8 Juliet Delta Echo. And again, very distinctive sound in his voice. I really should have worked him. He sounds like a good operator. He might be using a playback or he's just super consistent with how he, how he say, says his call. I just never picked him out. And I feel a little bad about that, but that's just the way radio works sometimes. Let's see who I worked. I gotta ask, is there a station out there beginning, beginning with Yankee? Yankee, Victor, Wan, Golf, Italy, Yankee. All right, so I don't know if you heard that when I did the first playback, but even with this one, it was a little tough because not that his accent is, is that difficult, but I'm not used to hearing them. So I needed to hear him say it, I think one more time. And then I finally got his call, uh, Yankee Victor one, Golf Italy Yankee is how he was giving his call. So that's why we have the phonetic alphabet. I think, uh, let's see if I, it says what I said there. All right, I heard Yankee Victor. Uh, let me try that again. Go slowly, please. Go ahead. Okay, Yankee Victor, Grand Golf Italy Yankee. All right, I, I asked him to go slowly, and he, he didn't, but I at least understood that the next time through. So today, I understood it because now I'm clear, but, but on that day, I was not clear. I still only copied the Yankee Victor, and I didn't even catch his one because there's just ways that, that people say things. And once you get accustomed to it, you can do it. You just have to be patient, and then hopefully they're patient enough to say their call a few times, but you'll eventually get it. All right, let's see who calls next. All right, thanks for calling. This is uh, Kilo Echo 4 Whiskey Mike Foxtrot Mobile QRZ. All right, I heard a Kilo Delta 9. I heard a station ending with Delta, and I think I heard a station beginning with November. I don't know who I chose, but these are the three stations that I would try to call if I was working my list. Let's see who I got. Oh, it's station beginning with a November. November Golf Quad Echo, Maryland. November Golf. A November Golf 5 Echo, NT5E, Maritime Open. All right, maybe it was just me, but I thought I heard <laughs> November Golf 5 Echo, so that's what I wrote down, and then I heard him say A. Let's play that again real quick. So I did get his call correct. Now here's the problem. When I said station beginning with November, two stations came back. So then I worked November Golf 5 Alpha, and then I completely forgot to work the other November station. I feel bad about that too, but that's what happens when you're typing just one call at a time on a computer. It's very easy to forget things. And so that's what I like about running this list here is now here I forgot to write down the second November but I might at that point once I knew I had two maybe scribble another one down here just so I know to call the next one you can write notes so I did not work the second November station instead I did this all right thanks for calling uh, this is KE4 WMF mobile QRZ Okay, so down here, I got the KD9, 
I heard them again up here. I think it was KD9 Yankee Kilo India. I don't know if I worked them or not. And then I heard a Zero November Mike. Let's see who I worked. Well, I got the Kilo Delta 9. Kilo Delta 9 Yankee Kilo India KD9 YKI. All right, so that's who I got. Let's see who I get next. KE4 WMF Mobile QRZ. All right, so I got November Zero Delta Romeo X-Ray and a station ending in Quebec. Station ending with Quebec. Kilo nine, Tango, Quebec. Oh, I don't know if he said Kilo nine, Kilo, Quebec, or Tango, Quebec. I'll note it up here in the margin. This is KE4 WIMF Mobile in Park, Kilo 0016, QRZ. All right, station beginning with Kilo, which that could be a whole lot if I'm running a list. Then I also copied station ending with Charlie Lima Mike. Station ending with Lima Mike. Whiskey one, Charlie Lima Mike. All right, thanks a lot for the call. This is KE4 WMF QRZ. I got Kilo Echo 8, I think Tango Alpha Lima. And then here is where voice familiarity comes into play. I did not hear it that night, but today I heard Kilo 4 Mike India. And this is a local station to me. He was across the river, maybe five or 10 miles away. Let's see if I got the KE8 station. Kilo Echo 8, uh, I believe, and then maybe a Tango after that. Kilo Echo 8, Tango Alpha Lima, QSL. There we go. Let's see if I get Will next. All right, thanks a lot for the call. This is KE4 WMF Mobile, QRZ. All right, I got Kilo 8 Romeo Whiskey something, and I heard K4MI again. Kilo 8 Romeo Whiskey Lima, QSL? Yeah, QSL, you're 5'9 into Michigan. All right, so still no Will. I'm going to get him. QRZ. That time I'm pretty sure I'm going to get him. All right, Kilo 4, Mike, India, you are about a 5'5 five five into uh, uh, Park Kilo 0016, QSL. All right, so I got Will. Let's see if I get KF5 next. This is uh, KE4, WMF Mobile, QRZ. Okay, I think I really didn't get much of anything out of that, uh, but I think I might have heard a mobile station. Let's see what I got. Station ending with November. Kilo India 5, Echo Tango, November. All right, so I said uh, station ending with November. I got back to Kilo India 5. All right, let's keep going. Uh, thanks for the call. This is KE4 WMF Mobile QRZ. Okay, so I think I heard a Whiskey X-Ray 4, and I heard that in November, that was Dan. That was Dan's voice. So let's see what happens. Was there a Whiskey X-Ray? Whiskey X-Ray 8, Bravo Oscar, Bravo. All right, I'm not sure if I got that again. Here today, I would have, I think I got Whiskey X-Ray 8, Bravo X-Ray, Bravo, but I'm not 100% sure. So I probably would have asked him again what his call sign was. And again, let's see if I hear Dan call again. At this point, uh, I, had, I was doing a double activation, and so I had started calling from the park at 1900, and then at 2000, it rolls into another calendar day, and therefore it's a new activation. So Dan was calling me back to get another contact with the park, but on a different calendar day. So let's see if I pick him up. All right, thanks for the call. This is a Kilo Echo 4 Whiskey Mike Foxtrot Mobile QRZ. All right, I heard a Bravo Foxtrot, and I heard the mobile station, but I did not hear Dan. Let's go. I'm going to try to get that mobile station here in a second, but I've already typed Kilo Alpha 3 Sierra Alpha Foxtrot. Uh, 
negative, sir. It is Kilo Alpha 3, Sierra Bravo Foxtrot, QSL. All right, there we go. And now the mobile. All right, QSL, appreciate the call. Let's take that uh, mobile station. Kilo Sierra Zero, Foxtrot Delta, mobile. All right, so Kilo Sierra Zero, Foxtrot Delta Mobile. Now, I, I, I wrote a stroke M here on my paper, but in the log, I don't put the stroke M in the station's call sign. I add the mobile as a note, because if you upload that to Logbook of the World as a stroke M, it is a different call sign, and they may or may not find it or get credit for it. And so I only log call signs, and then I note the mobile elsewhere, and then if later they contact me and they want the stroke M, Mike, I will I will add it later. Kilo Sierra Zero, Foxtrot Delta Mobile, QSL. Roger, Roger, Kansas Zero Field Day, uh, 5-7 in Kansas. This is KE4WMF Mobile, QRZ. Delta 4, Delta Alpha, Delta Alpha. All right, so that time I heard Dan again, Whiskey Delta 4, D-A-N. And then a station ending with Mike Hotel Victor. Let's see who I got. Delta Alpha November. Whiskey Delta 4, Delta Alpha November. Let me know what you think of all of that. This is a really long video for me, but I'm hoping that the exercise of running through the pileups, maybe a little bit of practice on your part, maybe that helps. I will put a link to the raw exchanges so there's no commentary it is just the 24 calls the 24 QSOs no commentary it's going to basically be 24 QRZs followed by 24 of what I heard and you can practice listening to those they'll get old I'm sure but if you come back every couple of months or so you've forgotten the call signs and work it again that that whole video there if I publish just that is about 11 and a half minutes so it's 11 and a half minutes of just practicing hearing pileups. I think it might be good for you until you get good at doing it on your own. Let me know if you have any questions or feedback. Uh, again, I'm not proclaiming to be an expert. I am simply trying to provide a small service to some of you who maybe can benefit from it. I am not a master radio operator. I am just some dude with a camera who shares things. So hopefully you got something out of this. And if not, I still appreciate you watching the video, especially if you're still here right now. So as always, I do appreciate you being here. I will see you next time. Take care. <laughs>